Recently donated by one Robert Guistala, YouTube channel of the same name, I have this uh, Sanitaire Extend. Some people might know it as a Eureka Mighty Might. And we also have one Mrs. Vaclab. And she is going to attempt to use this thing why our dog Rosie squeaks on her toy. That, that's great. Isn't it? So let's see. These are all the tools and extra tools that... How nice. That... Uh, Robert sent me. So we have three floor tools and we have a couple of different extension wands and well the hose is just the hose. And Mrs. Lab has decided that uh, she wanted to significantly shorten the strap. So okay, take it away. Do, do whatever it is you want to do. She has never used this machine at all. She understands it's a canister. She's used many canisters, but never this one, and never one that you could wear. Woohoo! Woo Such a fashion statement. <laughs> yeah. Do you wear your vacuum? Remember, she's, she's never I'm touched hugging it. my vacuum. <laughs> That's right. She loves it so much. All right, we've released the cable. Our then, yep. There you go. If you want to put that on the floor, you want to make sure that is spinning freely. Um, how much cord? Uh, it's pretty long. I think we can get most of the linoleum here. We'll just go right here. All right. You can go all the way down the hall. You might want if you plug it in there. I think it goes all the way down. Well, maybe I'll plug it in over here. Yeah. So she had it plugged into the island. So we'll plug it in over here. And I think you can make it all the way down the hallway there, the front door. We'll see. That's a pretty long cord. It's not as long as it could be, but it's long enough. Alrighty, so. How do you work this like confounded jig, thing? It's a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it is. Is it directional? What do we do with that? Don't know if it's directional. We'll find out. I'm going to just assume, because I don't see anything, that it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, the click of life. Okay, we're good. Yay! Yeah. Step one done. Two, what do you do with that? <laughs> so, we're going to try the two plastic tubes. They are lighter, but they are flimsier. Well, if you use two of them, they're flimsier. Okay. Yeah, they're just twist lock. We're just going to move that one aside. Okay. Yep, that's the heavy metal one. And let's see. Let's, we'll move the two little guys and start with the big one first. Okay. This big one is huge, like Kirby sized. You get a lot of area done with that dude. Sorry. Yeah, it's just, it's just a twist fit. Will it work on the mat? <laughs> yeah, I can't go forward. Well, you can go backwards on it. Goes behind furniture. 
Will it go under? Oh, it goes under. Look <laughs> I see rosy hair all over it, but I don't see I don't see your hair. I might have sucked it up. See that? So that's what happens with our dog Rosie's hair and plastic anything sticks right to it. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna go with we're a small small converter nozzle. So okay. That one can do low pile carpets, rugs, and bare floors. My hair stuck to it. Oh, and there's one, <laughs> one hair in there. Okay. Now, I just got to figure out what. Yep. Well, that sounds oh, that, like it's yeah, on that, wheels. Yeah. It's scraping. Oh. Okay, there we go. So that, that would be. It sounds the same. No. Okay. It sounds very different. Here, look. Let's see. Let us, let us see the difference. Okay, so you have it set like the button is is this way and you have no um, no brushes touching the floor right here these are these are totally flat so if you go and you push that go ahead oh. so then this this actually pops out <laughs> did you pinch yourself I broke a nail I broke a nail okay so watch watch that button you maybe use your foot and then these these pop out See them, these popped out, and that's better for the bare floors. Okie dokie. And we, we've already broken a nail. We've suffered damage. I'm quitting. Yep. So, like yep. this or push it down? But you, you want it like that. That way. Okay. Uh -huh. so that's, that's the bare floor mode. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's stuck, it's isn't stuck. it? Yeah. Yep. I mean, I can't push it smoothly. Right. So, is the air closing at the top of the uh -huh. Yeah. If I look down... Okay, how's it now? It's better, but you can tell it's really sucking down Okay, really sucking down hard, alright. Fully open. It's not bad. Okay. But you can tell it. Okay. Right here on the mat. You're just mat, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay, oh. go ahead. Go ahead and flip the button. What? Yep. Okay. How's that? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to push. Okay. My jacket is getting... 
that. That could be a problem. Somehow your jacket gets stuck in there. Look! <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Every time I come back, it's just... Yep. <laughs> yep, there it is. We're stuck again. That's right. Can't back in with loose clothing. Oh, it's twist. Okay, it slid. I mean, I'm holding the handle. But yeah, turn. that's right. Yeah, so it's it slid a little bit. So this is the the pressure fit. You know, the push and twist. Yeah, it can slide. There it is again. All right. Why don't you try the larger yeah, knot on there? So we're gonna. Let's see what do we see on the bottom of that. I see lots of yes. static. Yeah. yeah, that's that's just a problem with plastic tools and uh, well, static cling. Okay, now we'll try this floor tool. This yep. Metal. Yeah, lots of metal. Metal, metal, metal. And it's also bigger. It's wider. Now I'll have to figure out the pedals. But let's yeah. See if we... Oh, we're crooked again. <laughs> okay. I'll just go ahead and twist. Twist until it's right. And any from anywhere, any one of the joints, you can you can take it and twist and then get it straight again. There, there we you go. go. That's it. Yeah, she's definitely not used to doing having to do that. <laughs> There you go. Now you got the brushes down. Yep. Oh, so this this one works well with the suction relief closed. Okay. the button. straining a bit when the motor speed increases.
Go ahead and shut it down for a minute. Okay. So let me see if we've, we've got this right. Um, we have these two floor tools and what we found out so far is this one doesn't really work very well no matter what you set it at when you do the mats, right? So this, this one wasn't good for the mats no matter how you set it. And, and the bare, the, 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 for right here, the linoleum, it seemed to be okay. Yeah, I think we had Yeah, you had to use the suction relief. Open, okay. yeah. This one seems to do very well with, um, you know, bare floor mode. And, and you can close the suction relief. All right, so this one probably is, is better um, on, the, uh, on the linoleum. But when you go and try to use it on any type of low pile carpet, it's, it's a bit of a struggle no matter yeah, what, right? I had, this, I had this fully open. Yeah, you had to have was, that fully it was open. It okay, but right. yeah. And of course, you know, the button was flipped to the correct position. Mm -hmm. um, this right here was fantastic for bare floors, especially if you have a lot of bare floors, but was pretty much unusable on any type of low pile mat. So that's the comparison of all three in all the different positions. Okay, so which one do you want to... Oh, you know what? At this point, let, yeah, let's go ahead and switch that. So now you've got several minutes of using the more flexible plastic tubes. Now here's the metal one. Oh, look at all that hair. Oh, that's yeah. even my hair on there. Yeah, see, a lot of hair. <laughs> Just kind of sticks like crazy. Of course, on you, the can metal, you can vacuum nothing. it. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. a little, but not much. Yeah, the advantage of metal. Okay, now we need to convert. Oh, Ooh, that's I guess, interesting. I guess stuff is getting stuck inside the tube. <laughs> that's weird. How about that? Okay, I can't say that I see that every day. Well, let's see what the next one brings. <laughs> you put it on too tight? <laughs> okay, looks like there's some more stuff in there. Huh. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. It seems like maybe it's catching at the lip of it inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, it it's, as it's, much as the vacuum. it's much heavier to uh, be sure. Obviously, that is wrong. Okay, yeah, so that won't work. Yeah, it's still a pressure fit. Right, twist. And then you push the button forward. Break this nail then, now. Yeah. Pull out to whatever length you want. We just gonna extend it. All oh, the you way. want it all the way, huh? So you're a tall person. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to this guy because okay. this guy required no effort. <laughs> and you want to pick that up? And we'll clean up. <laughs> it's really. We'll have to we'll have Static. to use that and vacuum that off manually when you're done. Yep. Alrighty, so let's see my straight guy. Yep. Ready? Yep. Here we go.
<laughs> yeah, so this setup you can use at full power. No suction relief required. Oh, we're going to try to wear it. Now she shortened the strap. Just so I didn't have to take it off and put it back on and it doesn't, it doesn't get caught underneath the unit while you're moving. So, back out. Oh, okay. You're going to lengthen yeah. the strap. Oh, yeah, that's probably going to be too short for me. Okay. I figured you make Ouch. it purse length. Let's start there and see what I think. And all this hair has got to go. <laughs> Is that the purse shoulder? It's such a fashion statement. There we go. Ladies. There's the <laughs> you shot. You must have one for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's red. <laughs> well, that's a good length for me because I can hold it if I, you know, if I'm leaning or something so it doesn't fall off my shoulder. Okay. Well, you can also like, it might be a little awkward, but to, to hold it at the handle hold, I guess, if you wanted to. Grabbing all this too. Oh, yeah. So you can try this two ways. You can go and try to put everything in front of you so it hangs like that. Or you can try to go and put the hose around behind you and even put the machine facing behind you. So well, I've, try, I've, tried it, I've tried it both ways. So this is this way. Uh -huh. Yeah, so every, this is the everything in front of you way. That's it. Oh, I guess I can hold it there. Yep, you can do that. If that's easier. All right, so. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's try it. Let's flip it. Oh. This is worse than getting dressed. <laughs> yep, have it face behind you. Backwards. There you go. But now I'm going Well, you, you have to go and here. step over the hose. Yep, yep, step over the hose, come forward, right, and have it have it back behind He's asking you. asking a lot from me here. Yep. <laughs> All right, so now it's behind me. So now everything's kind of wrapped around you. You've become partially one, one with, with the sanitaire. <laughs> Go on there. <laughs> Backwards works.
Okay, so. I will follow you. Oh, you're coming this way. <laughs> we can end up where we started, I guess. More like. Yeah. More room. Alrighty. All right, so any uh, parting thoughts of this sanitaire? Well, for it being a canister, and you know I'm not a canister fan, it's really not that bad. Um, lightweight, easy to use, carrying on your shoulder is okay, it's acceptable for me. Um, I think I like this tool for the floors and the carpets versus messing with these buttons and gadgets on those. This one you just open the air, close the air, good to go. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, how about the difference between the wands? This one to me felt definitely uh, more sturdy. More, yeah, yeah, more sturdy versus something that felt like if I put, put a little too much pressure I might crack something <laughs> yeah. on the plastic one. So I would probably use the metal because it's really not that heavy after all. Oh, okay. All right. So, but as like this, it's a good setup. All right. Fantastic. And it has a, actually a really very reasonable price, too. It has a fantastic price. So, all right. Thanks to Mrs. Vaclab and once again to Robert Guizdala. Okay. And this is what happens when you use a vacuum. You get nail damage. When I was adjusting that um, nozzle with the button, it just popped my nail right down the center and right down to the skin. So, Mr. Vaclab owes me a day at the nail salon. Uh.